And we have a second graduation on Easter. Isn't this exciting? Mr. Morris, Mr. Shannon Morris, come on up here. Good. Here, hold this, hold this certificate right here. And we'll look at the camera. Say cheese at the camera. All right. I'm going to give this to you. And you said you wanted the podium, so I'm scared. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Hold uh, it close. All right, here we go. You know, I took uh, public speaking, speaking in college, and now I'm forgetting everything they told me. <laughs> Amen. But my journey to the stage didn't begin when I started the Promised Land program. It started long before. I was raised in the Christian faith. My parents made sure of that. I was very fortunate to have that foundation set as a child. I was brought up to know right from wrong and to put God first in everything. My life was good until I suffered tragedy in my mid-twenties with the loss of someone I loved. I failed to allow God to help me through the grief process and I took it upon myself to deal with the emotional pain. This led to a path of utter self-destruction and all but diminished my faith in God. And once that seed of doubt was planted, it continued to grow. My life quickly spiraled out of control and trouble began to be, become my normal. I soon realized a pattern in my life where I could get in trouble with substance abuse, clean myself up for a period of time just to repeat the process. It wasn't, long, it wasn't lost on me why my successes were continually followed by long periods of failure. I ran so far away from the faith that it often seemed impossible to regain it. So for the longest time, I tried to rely on my own power to fix what was broken inside of me. The more I tried, the harder I'd fall. And the trouble I became, I would get myself into became more and more serious. The hope to recover from my addictions became non-existent and often thought that this was my life and just to accept the misery of it. Through it all, I would constantly ignore the emptiness I felt inside because I knew what was the cause of it. And I knew that there was only one way that the emptiness could be filled. So when I arrived here in September, I knew that God had put me on a path to regain my faith and his son, Jesus Christ, and finally do away with that emptiness that had plagued me for far too long. Man. So this new path in my journey began in no time. I began to experience pure joy and peace as I opened back up to his will. Pastor Glenn, what you're doing here at Promised Land is nothing short of miraculous. I can make that statement with the utmost confidence because for me personally, to bring me back to Christ after the distance I've traveled for him is in my definition a miracle. Amen. The positive changes in, I'm experiencing in my life are already too numerous to count, and the thankfulness I have for this is immeasurable. My transformation has showed me a single point, and a very important point, that you can take a million steps away from God, but it only takes one step back for him to welcome you with open arms. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Ben, for providing me what was necessary to take that step back to him. My success and the success of all the others in this program is a true testament to what you and Ms. Vera are doing here. To Ed, I could spend the rest of the service standing up here and talking about the things I learned from you. You truly are a man of God. I'm very fortunate to have been able to spend the time that I had with you. The wisdom and insight you provided is utterly priceless, and you're a living example of what Christ can do through his power. JJ and Jeff, I'm proud to know you, and I consider y'all to be true friends. To my parents, whom to me are a real-life example of the love of God, for all I put them through, they never stopped loving me unconditionally. I'm more fortunate than I know to have them in my life. I love y'all very much, and I'm so thankful every day for the love you have for me. And last but not least, thank you, God, for welcoming me back with all of your love and forgiveness. I promise I'll never walk away again. Amen. Congratulations, Shannon. Thank you so much. Ha, 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 ha.